everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. So today we're going to be playing with my, the next color that I just... It's not my color, blue. Blue, we're going to be playing with blue. And we went all in on blue. This is the look we're going to create. Now, the previous palette I used was green. And we all know how I feel about greens. Well, the way I feel about greens doesn't even compare to blue. Because blues just... Not that I don't think they look good on me, I don't, but it's more like I'm just completely scared to play with those shades, right? But I went all out. I did. So, I pulled out my Sigma palettes. I've got the Chroma Glow and the Blush palette. So, for the blush today, I chose Corderosa, okay? And for the Chroma Glow, I chose this shade right here. It's called Zeal. And it's like a blue, a purple, like, it's just all sorts of things. I don't even know what it is, to be honest, but I used it, and I don't mind it. It's not my favorite, but I don't mind it, and that has me intrigued. Now, the palette we're going to be playing with today is called Beachy. Even when all out, we're in blue. We got a light blue, we got a dark blue, just like in this palette. Now, what I will say about this palette, I like it. I know, right? What a thought. Here's the thing. It's even got kind of like greens in here, in a sense. But, what I like about this palette with these blues, it's just not all blue. That's the thing, I think. Exactly. Same with the greens. It cannot be all green. I think that's why I don't like it. And in my head, if I'm using a palette, that's the palette I have to use, right? It's not, number one. I need, if it is an all blue palette, I need to pull something else into it. But then, that I don't have that imagination. But this palette gives it to me. It has the blues, but it also has something to build up to, say, to the blues in a sense. And it's not a blue matte in this palette. And I think that that might be it too. I'm not really for sure. I'm going to have to play around. Because honestly, this blue, it doesn't look like overpoweringly blue. I mean, it is, but it's, a, you know what I mean? Or what I'm trying to say, this just about, this palette makes it wearable blue. I guess is the way we can say it. Sort of like the Earthy palette made it wearable green. But let's get started, nonetheless, so that I can show you what I did here. So the first shade we went into is Coastline, and it's this shade right here. And we started with this, in which I think that for myself and my makeup preferences, and remember my skill level is at 1 to 10, let's, let's say I'm a Let's say I'm like a two. We'll say I'm a two with makeup. Like a zero would be no, don't have a clue. A one would be just, just getting started. And then I'm there too, where I've been playing with it. I kind of know a little bit about some things, but not enough to know anything in that aspect, I guess is the way I would describe myself. I basically do the best that I can, you know? Now, with that said, though, this palette makes it easy. First off, the shadows are easy to play with, just like in all the other ones. They're all easy to play with. You, you're you not going to have really an issue with them. They're buildable, blendable, pigmented, but not too pigmented. They don't, like, blah, 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 can't even talk. They don't blend away, you know, all that good stuff. In the way it is set up to look at it I can kind of visually see like where to go in it in, in that aspect also not like perfectly by no means but somewhat you know like I'm not sure I know exactly what I'm supposed to do but I do know a little bit of where things should go I suppose you could say 
So we got that color one. Now we're going to take that same shade and we're going to run it under the lower lash line. And I also think because of the blue, I went very easily on my lips and everywhere else even. And that made it all sort of come together too. Although after looking at the look, I do wonder if somebody put on a red lip, if it would be too much. I think it would depend on how confident you are. For me, I don't think I could pull it off. But for some people, I do think you could. And it would look nice. But again, it would be based on preference and comfortable, com if you're comfortable in it or not. Me, I'm not comfortable, so I already knew. We were going in with a light lip. I didn't know, like, the color-wise or anything, but I knew it was going to be light. I ended up using my Gucci in mm, They Met in Argentina, this one here. And I think it looks really nice. It's almost like it's just a gloss on the lips in a sense. But it works at the same time. And I do like the names of each of the... Well, for the most part, I do get the names of the palettes. It reflects the names well. Except for the electric pink. I don't get it. Because there's only one color really in there. That is that electric. And it ain't even that electric. But I suppose... I am so thirsty. I've been drinking so much water. Okay, so the next shade we're going to go into is this shade right here, Driftwood. And we're going to start to darken up the outer corner. And I did kind of go, like, not overboard. Any other time, I would have tried to use every color in the palette, you know, and I didn't do it this time. I took it very slow and, and very simple. And I think because I did that, it actually worked in my benefit. And it actually is making me like the palette because I did do it this way. And for that, I'm glad because, you know, I want to like the palettes. I want to say they're worth it. And you don't have to go overboard to make it work it worth it, you know. But like that's kind of as dark as I let it go, to be honest with you. I'm gonna take just a little more. Put it up here. It's been watering too and it's kind of been messing up my looks on the corners here my eyes I don't know why I don't, I don't know I think that it has to do with allergies but at the same time I don't know they're all gonna fall okay at the same time I'm not really for sure if that's the case we're going back into that first shade All right, now we're going to take that same shade Driftwood and we're going to run it right up along the lower lash line. I'm trying to keep it away from the water because if it touches the corner of my eye where my eye's watering, it'll just like stay that dark you know it won't blend well and I don't want to do that okay then I took the light 
shade of the blue, which is just stunning, stunning. So it's called Sea Glass, and you know, again, perfect name. We're just going to pick some up, and we're going to pat this on the lid. We're going to go very easy, because I don't have a anything down, and I'm not going to wet it. So I just went in very easy, so I didn't get too much fallout. And to be honest, on the first eye, I didn't get any fallout, so that was really nice. And I just took it two-thirds of the way over. But this shade is just gorgeous. I mean, I could have wore this shade alone and been happy, to be honest with you. But you know me, I couldn't do that. Actually, I thought about it. And, the, and I paused here for a good probably five minutes thinking like if I go any further will it ruin this look and there was a chance it would have ruined it but I wasn't going to do it to this side and I was going to show you the difference but I didn't ruin it so it does you know you, you can combine some colors you can go a little overboard just not as much as I usually do so then I picked up the darker blue which is called Surf, and it's this one right here. And we picked a little bit of it up, and we're going to tap it in this corner here of the lid. And we're just going to keep it, you know, on here. We are going to take it over a little bit, but not too much. We're not going to go overboard, because, you know, that lighter blue is the main focus here, for sure. But we will bring it in a little bit just to show, like, depth and stuff. But you can see how you're pretty, pretty, pretty. And I think this dark blue would be really good if you did get it wet. And, like, lined with it. Like, sprayed your brush and then did a line. I think that'd be so beautiful. But look at that. So I didn't go too far overboard playing with it but just enough to make it work and again it's still blue it's still a blue look just not overboard now we're going to take this shade sandbar which is right here and we're going to pop that in the inner corner Ooh, again a little heavy handed but that's okay And because of this shade, again, it, this is an all-in-one palette for me. So, I love that. Now, I'm going to take the Urban Decay LSD liner. It's a blue. And I'm going to put that on my bottom lash line, my bottom water line, and my top water line. Now... I could say I went too far with this one. I could have put a white or a cream color on my waterline. But I was just feeling the blue at this point. So I kept it at that. Now I took my little real technique brush and we're going to go into this black which is called depths love these names i mean they they stuck to their theming for sure so i'm going to take this and we're going to line the top lash line with this and from what i see you know applying it as a liner obviously i'm not really working with it it is black it's definitely black. And I'm just pushing it up into that lash line. Now this brush is a little bit bigger than my um, oh, 
Dude. Red fur. But I can make it work. I still prefer my red fur. But this one would be a close one to that. Just because you have so much control over it. it but it is thicker. When using it. And then we're going to press it right up into the bottom wash line. And I just, I don't know, there's just something about the look overall. I really do like the way it came together. Because I really wasn't expecting it to come together like this. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the light blue shade. Sea glass. And just really brighten it up. Like, I want to see that from a mile away, that blue. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that. It is so gorgeous. And if you haven't noticed, I really went to the extreme of the blue because I pulled out my Pat McGrath. I think it's called Ultraviolet Blue Mascara. And we're going to be using that. So basically, that's all I'd used for the palette. Let me see here. Let me see what I got going on, though. Um, I don't see any flaw. Well, maybe a little bit from the corner. But no blue fallout on my underneath the eye. Yeah. So that's a plus. Now we're going to go into the blue mascara from Pat McGrath. And have some fun because I feel like why not you know first off I paid so much money for these I might as well get my use out of them number one number two I just embraced it and then I want to say I think it turned out really good the blue so we're just going to apply this to the top of the lashes and the bottom. I do wipe off these brushes because so much product does come out on mine. I don't know if it's like that for everybody or not, but I go very slow when it comes to this mascara. But I do like the mascara. But if you don't, if I don't wipe it off, it becomes a really gunky mess. So if you do have these and it does look like it's a very wet formula still, you may want to wipe them off and then proceed with doing your lashes. Unless you like that effect. And you can always comb through them too. I've done that. I've had to comb through before. No big deal there. For myself, anyway. Mm. 
But I do think the blue mascara kind of brings the whole look together. And you can apply several coats if you want. It's whatever preference you're looking for. Me personally, I'm good with this here just enough. You know what I mean? It's like it's you can see it, it's enough to enhance the lashes, but it's not like overboard by no means. But that is it. So this is the final look using the Beachy palette. And again, I must say, with these palettes, they have brought color in my life in a way, even colors that I don't like, like blues and greens. But they have brought it in a way that... is wearable for me and that I don't feel scared of and that I feel confident wearing out you know what I mean so all in all I really do like these palettes um I think my favorite would be still the electric pink the jewels palette because of the shades that I did use would be my next favorite but in all honesty these shades here, I mean, they're just purpley shades, you know? I'm not really sure how these shades would be if I use these two. How I would, you know, put that into a look, to be honest. So, because I use these, I'd say this is my next favorite palette. But to incorporate these two shades, I don't really know how I would do that, to be honest with you. It's got me wondering. And then the blue and green, I mean... Like I said, I think it came in the way, I don't know. No, I do think I like the blue palette more than the green. Even though I feel like the green palette is more of a neutral look. So it'd be electric pink, jewels, beachy, and earthy is how I would rank them. But in all honesty, I don't think you could go wrong with any of these. They're sleek, easy to store. They've got the names written right on them. Like, absolutely adore them. And this is the first time that I'm trying these, so I kind of want to go back and see what the other palettes, the first launch, is all about, to be honest now. Um, I still enjoy their longer palettes, though, to be honest, just because options. And they're sl just as sleek, you know what I mean? But all in all, I like this look, and I like it a lot. So, with that said, I hope this video helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all that we're notified when I upload. Upload every day but Sunday, even though some Sundays I upload, depending on if there's new stuff. And I guess now that we're done that, I go back to Too Faced? I don't know. I don't know if I even finished that. I could have finished those little palettes by now. I don't know. I kind of want to do something, though. I'm not for sure what I want to play with next. I may play with something completely different. Who knows? We shall see. We shall see. But until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.